Got more than 300 British and other foreign nationals safely out of the chaos of Sierra Leone. Robin Cook said the British wouldn't be joining the UN force in any combat role, though it looked today as if they could be there for some time. Our senior correspondent Mark Austin reports. Already British paratroopers are bringing reassurance to the streets of Freetown, sending a powerful message to those threatening once again to plunge this country back into a most brutal civil war. Their immediate task is to secure the country's main airport, to get other forces in, and most important of all, they say, to get frightened people out. In the early hours of the morning, we arrived in Freetown, and what we found was an evacuation operation in full swing. The RAF Chinook helicopter that took us in was met by scores of people desperate to get out. It was a shuttle of mercy for the fortunate few, UN staff, Britons, Europeans and other Commonwealth citizens, all fearful that a new flare-up in Sierra Leone's murderous civil war would engulf the beleaguered capital. British paratroopers had secured a UN compound to enable the evacuations to take place, and these people were glad to see them. It's a sign of relief, you know, seeing these guys, professional guys, the UN are just, you know, civilian staff, no UN military personnel that would make you feel happy and uh, when you see them. These families are heading for nearby Senegal, hoping that they'll be able to return to Sierra Leone should the situation stabilize soon. Well, it's just coming up to four o'clock in the morning here and all night the Chinook helicopters and the paratroopers have been working to get these people out of Freetown. Those who want to leave had gathered at a beachside hotel, among them Welsh missionary Alan Jones, who's lived in Sierra Leone for 10 years. It's really just because of personal security, because the political situation changes and sometimes it doesn't change, but it's the chaos in the interim really that's the threat we feel personally. This morning, British forces were flying in more supplies, including mortar rounds and other ammunition. Already, this operation is looking like more than simply an extraction mission. And today, the most senior British officer here told me it was about helping a demoralized UN force back on its feet. I think it's a facilitation rather than doing anything positive necessarily, although if uh, push comes to shove, obviously we will not allow British soldiers not to act robustly if they need to. By lunchtime, the evacuations were almost complete. Those who want to leave have left. So what now for British forces here? The big question and the big fear now is as the situation deteriorates here, will these men and their machines become embroiled in a messy civil war? Britain has a growing military presence in this tiny country, with an aircraft carrier and other forces on the way. Mark Austin, ITN, Freetown, Sierra Leone. It was announced.